Hello and welcome to the roundup of the Engineering News and Mining Weekly magazine, published on Friday, 17 February 2023. In this week's cover article, Engineering News and Mining Weekly senior deputy editor Skulk Berger writes that the planetarium's upgrade to a digital dome seeks to inspire a new generation of scientists. The venerable planetarium on Yale Road on the University of the Witwatersrand campus in Johannesburg is being transformed into a digital dome to not only provide visitors with awe-inspiring shows about the cosmos, but also inspire a new generation of scientists and engineers to overcome the challenges facing the world. The engineering news features focus on instrumentation and control, where a company expands its footprint in the smelting industry. South Africa's infrastructure outlook, where a mindset change is essential for effective public sector participation. And oils and lubricants, where a lubricants manufacturer moves substantial quantities of stock through its largest branch. The Mining Weekly features focus on mining in the DRC, where swift mining and minerals transport is required to meet demand. This week's business leader is Annabel Vieira, FD of Real Estate Investment Trust, Octodec Investments. And as this week's cartoon shows, the recent mining gathering in Cape Town once again highlighted the failure of governments and its state-owned companies to provide the policy, administrative and infrastructure frameworks and capacity needed to take full advantage of existing mining activity, as well as to stimulate the exploration needed to unlock the next generation of critical minerals. We hope you enjoy this week's edition of Crema Media's Engineering News and Mining Weekly. Be sure to subscribe to the magazine that offers you in-depth news about developments in the real economy by emailing subscriptions at engineeringnews.co.za. Happy reading and see you next time.